Hi everybody and welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you what is 90% of the cause of leaking bar oil on steel chainsaws that come through my shop. And I'm going to get right in the video and show you exactly what it is. And I've got a few steel chainsaws here on my workbench. Some of you guys may have already figured out what the problem is 90% of the time on these chainsaws when they leak bar oil. And if you've guessed that it's the oil cap, well, you've guessed right, because that is the main problem on these steel chainsaws that come in with the new toolless oil caps. And I've got a chainsaw here that is leaking from the oil cap. As you can see, it's dripping oil. It's leaving an oil pool on the cardboard. That's the easiest way to find out where the oil is leaking is put a cardboard underneath that's clean. Try to notice exactly where the oil is forming on which part of the chainsaw. Like I said, 90% of the time you'll find that it's pulling on the side of the oil cap. And sometimes just running your finger under the oil cap is a telltale sign. Another way you can figure out which side the oil is leaking from is you can tilt your chainsaw. If it's the cap and you've got it tilted like this, you won't see any oil pooling on the cardboard. That's because the oil is not against the oil cap when it's in this position. And you can also start like this for a day or so. Make sure it's upright like that. Make sure there is oil in the oil tank. And if it's the cap, you're going to see a lot of oil pooling here and on the cardboard. And it's all caused by these toolless oil caps. I'm not kidding. Most steel chainsaws that come in my shop leaking bar oil. The problem can easily be fixed by just replacing the oil cap. So these oil caps were designed for ease of use. You don't need a tool to undo them from the chainsaw. However, after time, they do start getting defective. They leak oil. Sometimes you go to put them on and they don't turn as well as they should. Now these caps aren't bad if you're just a homeowner. You might actually like these caps because you don't use your saw that much. They're not getting that much wear and tear. Therefore, you won't experience the leaking oil like I showed you on the chainsaw over here. However, if you've got a pro saw and you're constantly using your chainsaw every day with heavy use, it won't be long before these caps are going to cause you problems. Now with the older caps like this from steel, they came with no markings here, but if you do go and buy a new one, there will be a small black mark here. This is a much better cap I find. I do find that they last a little bit longer. Maybe they've upgraded a few parts inside, I'm not sure. Now an important thing you can do to prevent this from happening is regularly clean your caps. That can also be why a lot of these caps start leaking prematurely. People might not be cleaning them as often as they should. And sometimes another reason they fail is the o-ring right here. Now it can be quite difficult to find an exact o-ring to replace it with. Just the average nitrile o-rings that you find in a kit don't last in these caps. But sometimes I find the mechanical part of the cap doesn't work right. What I mean by that is the parts inside. Sometimes you go to put it back on and you just can't get it to sit tight. This one's not too bad for tightness. However, it is leaking oil as you can see here. And here's how these caps work once you put them in your chainsaw. When you turn the tab here, you can see that this part goes down. What it does is it puts pressure between the cap and the oil tank to create a seal. Then when you open it, it releases. Sometimes this mechanical part here stops working. And then you cannot tighten up the cap on the oil tank. That is one common area that I find gets defective on these. Now, depending on who you talk to, some people really love these caps and some people really hate them. Now, personally, I don't like the caps. I do like the idea of not needing any tools to undo them, but I just find them annoying over time. Now, you will find these caps on most new steel chainsaws, except for the smaller MS-170s and 180s that will come with these screw-on caps like this. Now, if you have an older steel chainsaw, it will come with screw-on caps like these. These are much, much better caps in my opinion. They last way longer than the new toolless caps that you find on all these new steel chainsaws. However, when I get Husqvarna chainsaws in the shop, it's very rare that I have to replace the caps. And they do come with toolless caps as well. I just find that the Husqvarna design is much better. I've never had to replace one. And some of the 562 XP's that come in my shop like this have a lot of wear on them. So you would think one of the first things that would fail is the oil cap, but that's very rare. So in my opinion, I do prefer the Husqvarna toolless oil caps. I just think they're better made. 
So I'm going to show you the two most commonly used oil caps here that I get in the shop. I have to buy them from steel and I'll just show you the number for the larger oil cap. Here it is. Now the smaller oil cap, here's the part number for that one. And I highly recommend that you only use OEM oil caps. I find that the Chinese ones are even worse. So if you do a lot of small engine repairs, keep some of these in stock in your shop. You're going to get a lot of steel chainsaws that come in leaking bar oil when it's just the cap causing the issue. So a few tips here before I end off the video. Make sure you keep your cap clean all the time. Clean any dirt or debris around here. When you're reinstalling the cap, make sure you're lining up the notches on the cap to the notches on the oil tank. Some of the notches are smaller, some are bigger, so the cap only goes in one way. And also make sure you're not forcing the cap if it does not want to tighten up. So the reason I'm making the video today is not to disparage one brand over another. It's just to show you what to check before you take your chainsaw to a shop. Sometimes you can just go into the steel dealer, buy the oil cap, put it on and you will not have any more oil leaks. As you've seen in a lot of my other videos, it's almost impossible to have a chainsaw that does not leak any oil at all. And I've made a lot of videos on how to replace oil lines on chainsaws that leak bar oil. The links are in the top right corner in the info button. And there's also links under the video as well to where you can watch these videos. So thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram and have a great day.